Good evening, uh, friends. Uh, today it's going to be a really interesting section of uh, discussing on how do we train our brain? What do we have to focus? How is it going to help us uh, in order to uh, accustom, get accustomed to this new normal? What all things we should focus on? All these areas are going to be covered by none other than Mr. Vadivel Pillai, who's a transformational trainer, excellence coach, NLP master practitioner, hypnotherapist based out of Chennai, India. Let's welcome him. Welcome. Welcome to the show, Mr. Vadivel Pillai. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Pleasure, Hari. <laughs> uh, it's been uh, almost uh, two, three weeks. Uh, we have interacted on all, of course, uh, in person, but uh, mostly yeah. over phone. Uh, it's always nice to interact with you and get inputs on how to maintain, how to get accustomed to this new normal. Thanks for that. And uh, today's section uh, will have three, four segments mainly, but of course, not too rigid. You can go with the flow and you can add more inputs whichever is going to impact our viewers more positive manner. Sure. First section, first segment would <clears> focus <throat> more on who was Mr. Vadivel Pillai? Where did he start? Where was he born? Where did he do his schooling? College? How did he end up to be who he is today? That's the first section. Second section would focus on what are the learnings from the hurdles which you faced in life and how it impacted you in your growth. Third would be how do we get how do we get accustomed to or coping up mechanisms or tips to people who are undergoing different kinds of emotional roller coaster? And the last would be more on question answers from the viewers. And also we can focus on your area, your focus on people where you want to advise them. How do they have to adapt and what will help them to go on a positive direction? This yeah. is the entire plan. So we'll start with uh, where you start. I mean, where were you born, and about you, your journey till today. Uh, you see, Hari, I was born in Chennai, <clears throat> and um, I did my schooling in Shishya. Okay. In fact, uh, we were the first batch in Shishya, okay, uh, Chennai, and it was a wonderful uh, experience because those days in Shishya, if you see, you didn't uh, have uniforms. First school which did not have any uniforms at all. Um, oh. Yeah, you, and they had classes under the tree, uh, like those days, you know, when we used to hear the about uh, the, the, yeah, the Gurukul, uh, yeah, uh, the Gurukul uh, style of passion of teaching, where uh -huh. uh, the teachers were more of friends to the student, though we had a lot of respect for the teachers, they uh -huh. connected with us uh, much more easily. Uh, okay. And, and so uh, the knowledge sharing was very... Uh, Harmonious, and yeah, and we were able to learn a lot of things very nicely and quickly because of okay. that. So Shishya was a big eye opener as far as the learning uh, methodology was concerned, because okay. you can connect with anyone. You can go to a teacher's room in the staff room anytime and speak about any problem that you want, and okay. they'll be open to help you out. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, so uh, was that no was barrier. Shisha. Okay, there was no, no barrier, barrier, no barrier at all. Okay. But actually, we had the respect. We had a lot correct, of respect correct. for that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And okay. after that, I did my uh, college. I did in after that, I went to Sherwood. I mean, after I mm. eighth, I went to Sherwood. And after that, Loyola mm. College. Uh, Loyola, mm. I did my English literature. English okay. literature that uh, helped me to think about uh, language and how to use it. I also write poetry. Okay. Um, wow. I've okay. written a book of poems called Raining Roses. Okay, uh, raising roses. Yeah. Mm, mm. Self-published, actually. Mm, 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 <laughs> and, mm, mm. Um, and after that, I had a passion for photography. Photography was a passion for me. And um, I had a portrait studio those days. I've taken a lot of uh, model portfolios, uh, oh. family portraits. Okay. I mean, I'm talking, I'm talking about 1985 to 90, by the way. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. That's quite a long time back. So okay. I converted my, my garage into a, a studio, a portrait studio. And okay. uh, those, day, those days, you know, you had what is called as Namia RB67. You had films. You had to take photographs on films. Uh, you didn't have these digital cameras. Correct, correct. So, correct. Yeah. And once you had a bad shot, you never knew you had a bad shot until you washed it. Oh, shit. Yeah, and, correct. And, and, saw, and saw the first uh, print. It was actually wonderful because you really had to have good skills to take good photographs. True, and, true, uh, true, true, true. Once the shot is taken, there's no going back. <laughs> correct, uh, correct, correct, correct. Yeah. No, I still remember those days. 
uh, marriage photographers. They used to have two or three cameras, you know, hanging on their shoulders. Especially Just to be sure. The, <laughs> yeah, especially when the tali is being tied to the uh, bride. <laughs> Uh, because uh, you know, suppose one of the cameras, like the film, got like exposed or something wrong, <laughs> uh, they they need to take the backup shot so that uh, things don't bungle up completely. So and that I they still don't remember those days. <laughs> yeah. So that they don't get buried live. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. There's no retakes here, right? So. <laughs> okay. So okay, that was okay. the thing, and a great experience that was actually. In um, fact, uh, I was uh, one Mr. Uh, Ravi, Ravi Varman, uh, still Ravi is often called. Uh, yeah. When I talk with him or when I discuss with him about photography, he used to say this, um, playing with suns, uh, the light, sunlight is a yeah. great skill and uh, you have to work under somebody to learn. And he was telling about like, you know, when I asked him about basic tips, he said like, you know, keep a fruit, especially apple near the window. And then morning yeah. you take a photo, spray some water. Afternoon, when the sun keeps uh, touching on the different parts yeah. of the apple and things like that, uh, he also um, uh, almost goes with what you're saying. Like he says, it's an art at that time. Now it's very easy. You just insert any picture and then you click few buttons and then it comes out as a good picture. There, mm. that time it was a true uh, passion with skill blended only can yield a better photograph. Exactly, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So okay. after that, you know yeah. what happened during the time? What happened was. Uh, the photography part was going on extremely well. In fact, I was mm. doing pretty well in that. Mm. And I uh, had very good clients mm. um, from celebrities, movie stars, uh, business oh. professionals, uh, okay. all kinds of people. Okay. Um, at that point, what happened was uh, I used to go to a place called Southern Color Lab where I actually learned uh, photography. Um, okay. And where Mohan Ram and my mentors and Prasad in photography were there. Okay. Um, at that point, I uh, got into magic and met my uh, magic mentor for the first time, Ilango, PK Ilango. Okay. Okay. And uh, that started the journey on magic because when he showed me a couple of tricks, okay. uh, like just vanishing a coin, making it appear, and making uh, a currency note disappear, uh, uh, it was truly amazing because things unbelievable happening right under your nose. Uh, uh, it, it just. And you're just pretty young at that time, you know. I just pop out like, and you want to do that stuff, correct? And entertain people. So yeah. I learned magic from him, and that journey was a very good uh, journey by itself. A lot of hard work, and at the same time, I started my journey on hypnosis. Hmm. My first hypnosis mentor was uh, Rushi Kumar Pandya. Rushi Kumar Pandya was considered as the, or still is considered as the uh, father of uh, modern Indian hypnosis. Okay. Uh, he brought hypnosis throughout the country through his workshops. An uh, amazing person. I did. Uh, me and my father, we did the okay. workshop together in uh, the presently known uh, Crown Plaza. Those days it was called as Adair Park. Adair Park. Adair Park. Adair Park. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Adair uh, Park. It was a two-day session, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, um, and there, what happened was he taught us how to uh, self-program, reprogram our own inner mind through the power uh, of self-hypnosis. How to get oh. into the subconscious mind and you know tweak it up and press and certain reprogram. keys like 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 a computer basically like a bio computer uh. reprogram yourself and uh. Uh, put the goals ideas and beliefs that you want into your mind. And, this is uh, like that, Inception movie. This is like yeah, Inception. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and just imagine yeah. this happened about twenty years before Inception came. I took this about in 1988. We took the workshop. Mm, 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 mm. 19, around 1988, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, 1988, 1990, that was the time I took the workshop. So, okay. that was an amazing time. After that, I joined the hypnotic circle. Uh, mm. Hypnotic circle, I had another mentor there called uh, Mr. Badri Narayan. Mm. So, I heard, uh, I got a lot of uh, interesting ideas from him also mm. by attending the monthly meetings. Okay. So, uh, but the hypnosis took a totally different turn. Around 98, when I started attending professional courses on hypnosis and NLP. Okay. Uh, NLP was a more cutting edge stuff at that time, you know. Uh, it was like um, instant changes. Suppose somebody is smoking for 30 years. You can help okay. them to stop smoking just in about one hour or so. Very powerful okay. uh, stuff. So wow. I learned okay. NLP also. NLP okay. was uh, another turning point because it took hypnosis to a little higher notch, actually. Okay. Uh, 
but i later found out that nlp by itself was very good but the beauty is when you combine nlp with hypnosis uh. the power was absolutely phenomenal uh, the impact that you have on audience or a client who comes to you uh, okay. happens like instantaneously or magically and okay. the impact is very deep so okay. i combine both and also some energy healings into okay. my uh, therapeutic practice which uh, is still helping me very powerfully i would say okay okay yeah i started my first uh, therapy uh, sessions from 2004 onwards 2004 onwards Four yes onwards. okay yeah okay so starting from uh, and uh, which... one important thing i forgot to tell you was during this ahead, time i did my two uh, uh, tv serials on magic for sun okay. tele sun network and uh, jaya network uh okay. jay tv called uh, maya jalam and chu mantra gali okay 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 yeah it was okay. like running for about 26 weeks each uh both it wow. episodes <laughs> okay. yeah okay so that was another journey it was parallel journeys like okay so, yeah. so one is uh, starting as starting your uh, journey as a english literature student then moving into yeah. your passion of photography then into hypnosis and the past uh, 20 years in the hypnotherapy field uh, yeah what uh, what are the areas you actually come, i mean like uh, if i want to come to you what are the uh, areas which i'll be helped with like is it uh, yeah. only on reprogramming or is it something also on other areas emotional mental issues or how uh, what are the areas do you cover see actually if you want to talk about uh, what hypnosis is if you want to ask mm. me what simply what mm. hypnosis is basically yeah. hypnosis yeah hypnosis is the power of influencing your subconscious mind Mm. uh you know by the time we are about 7 years of age all of mm. us are programmed uh, by default by mm. three factors first is okay. um environment second is by parents and the third is by genes okay. so these three factors literally uh, program our inner mind so by 7 okay. years we are literally uh, 70 80% of our programming is already over okay and uh, by about 12 years it's nearly complete and we live on what is called as a default program we live on a default program and if we don't oh. know how to reprogram some unwanted or what do you call as in a computer terminology viruses inside our subconscious mind mm. we live with that virus till the last days of our right. life okay okay so how do we find out that whether we have virus or not it goes ah whether I mean, we have virus or not will yeah. uh, surface in the way we behave uh the kind of emotional uh, feelings we have the kind of constant thoughts we have our mindset itself that mm-hmm. will tell if you're going to feel more negative energy and negative thoughts and emotions and uh, behavior mm-hmm. that's going to be like some kind of negative belief patterns are still inside you okay. that is moving okay. you okay okay and that's a red flag basically a red flag because you need to uh, address it mm. sometimes what happens is it has a snowball effect it starts mm. to gather strength and at one point it overpowers oh. you okay from the childhood all the way adolescent teenage and by the time young adult and adult this will become more and more denser yeah. and thicker and it over dominates possibilities okay. there yes okay yeah. okay 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 so at uh, any stage whether i realize it or at the initial stage or mid stage or i feel like you know that's overpowering me at any point of the stage Uh, i can yeah. come to you and i can get the help exactly okay here age is not a factor because you know what we have a bio computer here and once mm. you know how to press the buttons in this bio computer mm. you can just press the buttons and make the changes that's it okay. like you reprogram okay. a computer okay but which button to press i have to come to you yeah which buttons <laughs> to press, <laughs> to press uh, how to do it and things like that yeah. how to get exactly. to that that's it okay yeah in fact you can say we are like um, uh, we teach you how to operate the computer okay. we are computer uh, institute uh, literally uh, okay. uh, because this computer is the most powerful computer of all computers and okay. um, when i train you how to use this computer yourself mm. then you don't need my help you can do the whole process yourself yourself okay 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 when you know how wh- what buttons to press and when to press it and what combinations to use Uh, you can do all the changes you want yourself that's what we do in our uh, one day intensive training and in oh. our long term program which is for about 3 months okay when i was yeah. going through your site i saw photos with doni ms yeah. doni 
uh, yes. can you share uh, that experience and what is it about uh, that uh, uh, experience with doni and csk was actually a more of a mind power program i was doing uh, okay. it was tuned into entertainment more of entertainment okay that okay. is like uh, we had the csk team members uh, sitting in a row and i used to read their minds literally what they are oh. thinking of <laughs> like uh. what shape they are thinking of like uh. if they have got a diagram in their mind what it is or they have a word what it is and uh. i asked them to take a currency note and uh, think of the serial number and i actually tell what their serial number is okay so okay that's okay. what i did for that and in fact one uh, effect i did for doni was exactly a word he was thinking of in his mind nobody else uh. knew Ladies and gentlemen, we have <laughs> <laughs> we have a person who is able to yeah. get the word from Doni's mind. Okay, mm. <laughs> exactly. And when you actually see that photograph uh, on uh, the expression of Doni's face, uh. literally like a child, you know, he is literally uh, amazed and wonderstruck, like a child. Mm. And that's mm. Doni actually. He is truly like a Zen monk, you know. He is really uh -huh. available, present in the present moment, totally. Okay. 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 Totally okay, mindful. Totally here and now. Uh -huh. Is that the uh, reason behind his uh, success or uniqueness? I am hundred percent sure that's the reason, actually, because he is able to think on his feet. He is not going on some pre-planned thing, you know. He is able uh -huh. to walk. I mean, walk his talk like very simple, straightforward, crystal clear thinking, and uh -huh. highly practical, very instinctive in nature, and very flexible. Oh, 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 okay. A true leader, basically. He's a true leader. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And also about uh, the uh, Mr. Amal Raj. Yeah. Can you tell and uh, discuss on that as well? Because I saw yeah. uh, where you helped him to achieve certain heights in his career. Yes. Amal Raj actually came to us uh, in 2011. Mm. 2011, Amal was uh, a good player. He had been playing for more than 10 years as a professional. Mm. But he was a struggling player because he had a lot of uh, barriers inside. Mm. And he was not able to overcome those barriers. It was just blocking him from uh, going to his next level of excellence. Mm. So when he came to us, what happened was uh, we did a lot of inner work for him. Inner work in the sense, uh, work on his um, childhood experiences, changed a lot of things, belief systems he had, which was not very useful for him. And mm. uh, replaced with more powerful beliefs inside him, which mm. could help him to go into his next uh, zone of success and mm. uh, help him to focus more without too much of emotional involvement when he was playing. Okay. In a very technical okay. manner, very professionally, you know, and okay. all the emotions also more channelized mm. into the present moment. Like I was telling about Doni, focus mm. on mm. the present moment totally. And mm. that literally, you know, what happened was uh, skyrocketed in, in about 10 months time, uh, he became the national champ. Okay. He okay. himself has mentioned it uh, in his feedback. Uh, okay. In okay. 10 months from the time he joined us, which he uh. could not do in 10 years, he became the national champion and he became a national champion again. And wow. after that, he won, I think, literally most of the national, uh, international awards. I mean, uh, games, he has uh, won a medal. Wow, wow. And last year he was awarded the Arjuna Awardi. He's an okay. he's an Arjuna Awardi basically. Okay. And okay. Uh, that's kind of a pinnacle in his uh, career. Career, career. Okay. And okay. and still way to go. He still got okay. a lot of table tennis in him, you know. So uh, a lot of great things yet to happen for him. Nice, nice. nice. And I should... actually appreciate uh, Amal a great deal. Yeah. Because you know one great thing, very important, vital part of coming to therapy is that whatever. Uh, structured training that we give to them, mm. they must be able to follow it to the dot, like, you know, without wavering mm. or giving excuses. They mm. must be totally channeled and focused on following till the last T, whatever mm. we mm. say. Mm. Mm. And mm. Amal was like absolutely amazing because whether it rained or snowed or whether he was feeling well or not uh. well or good mood or bad mood, he uh -huh. will follow exactly what we tell him. And that was the major reason for his, uh, you know, fantastic uh, progress. Okay. So a lot we, of credit goes to him. We wish him more success and thanks to you for Definitely. bringing him to that level. Okay. Now uh, we'll go to the next segment where we discuss on the areas which helped you to be more successful. That is the learnings from 
your life, uh, certain hurdles which came up at different stage of your life, and how yeah. did you come up? How did you face it and came over it? Okay. We don't have to go in detail about the areas which actually was the hurdle, but the lesson learned yeah. from that, and then you moved on, which would help mm. the viewers actually. That's the reason, the purpose of this segment. Life's uh, learnings. See hurdles in the sense, I would say. when i started my uh, career as a illusionist also hmm. uh illusion was never accepted as a career by anybody oh. so now suppose i had to go to a family function and tell that people ask me like i'm just out of college and i'm just like supposed to get into some kind of profession and you know work or have hmm. my own business and people ask me in a marriage function what do you uh -huh. do and you say i'm a magician yeah uh, they say yeah uh, but uh, what do you do <laughs> you know okay what do you do for so living? that means uh, they uh, they uh, don't uh, they uh, don't uh, they don't accept this as a profession and i used to feel very bad because i had so much of uh, respect for any i mean the profession i was in at that time my uh, magic part of it and i made it a point like yes we can do something with it and we should not give up and uh, you know getting respect as a magician was very difficult okay people push you around people don't give much respect to a performer actually mm. speaking mm. and mm. Um, mm. and that made me to actually be more stubborn in the way i approached it and mm. i worked harder and practiced much more and then uh, when i got my breakthrough in my tv specials like uh, chumantra uh -huh. kali and maya jaya uh -huh. uh -huh. everybody saw me like 2000 like not many channels were there not many programs were there like today Correct. correct so correct, everybody correct. watched uh, programs and this was a very different program during this time mm. uh, and after that like everywhere you go people recognized you and but you are still the same person actually and mm. you get surprised you know uh, like um, when this happens mm -hmm. the immediate response and the immediate people uh, acceptance has started coming after the tv program yeah correct mm -hmm. so okay, uh, okay. so that is one part of it like and, and when you when you enter the hypnotherapy field 20 yeah. years before and uh, how does it work with uh, people accepting you in that area uh hypnotherapy was um in another way a challenge because the moment you say you are a hypnotist, hypnotist or a hypnotherapist people have this feeling like you know like this uh, mindset that you're going to brainwash them and uh, take yeah. out all their secrets <laughs> <laughs> of uh, secretly find out their pin number and take out their money <laughs> you know all these things like or find out the skeletons in their cupboard whatever and you know all that thing is there uh, thanks But, to tv uh, and uh, movies which yeah, actually portray and and let me tell you you're 100% right most of yeah. the negative uh, mindset comes from movies basically okay. and uh, another branch which is like entertainment hypnosis entertainment okay. hypnosis by itself is good but okay. people get carried away by the entertainment hypnosis where somebody is called on stage and made to behave like uh -huh. forget their name or bark like a dog whatever it is mm -hmm. so they like generalize like all hypnosis is like this okay 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 so when they come to a therapy they are afraid like uh, they lose control of themselves that is the most important part of the fear behind uh, coming to a hypnosis oh ho Okay. So what happens is initially I had the situation of creating trust in someone, a client mm. sitting before me. I had to create trust and rapport with them, mm, mm, and mm. only then you know faith comes in that person. So mm. um, I worked hard on sports people because mm. they are people they see you know in newspapers and uh, you know they are known people. Mm. Oh, then if he has worked with so sports people, that means I can trust him. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You know, okay. You know he is a person who can be trusted. So mm -hmm. he's worked with this big person and that big personality. So he must be pretty good. So mm -hmm. even before Amal Raj, I worked with quite a few sports people who were pretty popular at that time, and that mm -hmm. okay. was like uh, uh, opening a lot of doors for trust building. Okay. Now, of course, like when they come, they know like uh, they can hundred percent trust this person and mm -hmm. uh, who can bring out all the situations and dissolve the problems they have. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. because uh, i've seen uh, while studying or uh, working in europe or in us it's a normal yeah. thing for a person to say that they don't feel good so i'm going to my, meet my shrink it's a very normal thing yeah uh, but when a person here 
seeks a professional support when they don't feel good yeah. they're branded or they're seen in a different way uh, i don't know yes. how many i think how many years it's going to take here for people to accept that it is normal to go no, to a professional i think uh, the times have changed already now now they don't okay. think that way actually mm. now they are mm. little more open, open to this kind of uh, therapy yeah 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 okay. That, okay. that is changed people okay. want to they don't mind uh, if people know about them okay. because you know it's their life and unless okay. they take steps to change it correct nobody correct. else is going to be bothered about it so uh, now people are more enlightened about these kind of things they're okay. very clear about it come back what yeah. what it used to be okay. sorry uh, yeah. uh, what kind of supports do they uh, can they get from you or like is it like uh, one to one of course this corona period i understand but one to one or through uh, like how we are talking or is it through phone or all blended with all these three kinds see ideally hypnotherapy has to happen one to one in person correct correct i can see uh, the chair one... behind you okay <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, the <laughs> that's the okay. special chair <laughs> so uh, it happens one to one and okay. one to one is the most powerful because uh, they'll open up very easily and actually we can bring out a lot of uh, the subconscious material out and help okay. them to you know change it shift it and mold it remold it the way they want it okay uh, okay that can happen in one to one sessions okay. uh, but because of the current conditions mm. i myself have changed my uh, approaches a little bit okay. but you can't actually do a full fledged hypnotherapy session over the phone as yet or in uh, in other online All platforms right. mm. but you can do to a good extent to a pretty good extent you can do okay uh for example we have something called as uh, uh, age regression age regression is something like when you go on to do a uh, complete age regression you have to take mm. them to a little more deeper trance like uh a uh, little more somnambulistic state you call it okay that, what is that uh they are a little more sensitive during those times and okay. uh, that needs to be done in person it's better if it's done in person okay okay, okay. otherwise uh, certain things where you're giving them positive uh thoughts and positive imagery creative visualization and all that that mm. you can actually do it online also okay. yes okay 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 and uh, I, i understand it is dependent on the person but average yeah. time like uh, if, if a person comes to you for a therapy or for a treatment and uh, depending on the intensity and severity it might take one week to one yeah. month to maybe six months or maybe yeah. longer but uh, yeah. Uh, on an average if a person not too into serious level but yeah. uh, feel low because of what is currently happening and they would like to understand they are aware of it but they would like to get a better understanding that they'll be able to overcome this because most yes. of the people who i spoke with and uh, during our conversation also you had mentioned which i've told in many forums where the different layers you said like where people may be affected yeah. and uh because of the crisis this might even become a larger or a wider or a deeper uh, program or an issue yeah. at that yeah. at stage what kind of support uh, do they have? i mean like they come to you but how long do they have to come to you? because the thing is already they are in a stage where they are not having uh, whether they'll have the job or whether they'll lose the job or whether yeah. their salary will be credited you know these kind of or, or relationship issues for that matter where Great. both the sides are now uh being together for a long time uh, they have understood after 6 years or 7 years of marriage that they are not compatible but how, yes. how, why only in this stage this has come out i mean there were also few stages before gaja and other disasters people were staying together and we had of course no lockdown but there were yeah. instances where people stayed together three areas where i see one uh, relationship at house level between the yeah. uh, spouse couples you uh, know that one the second one is uh, tenant and landlord issues the third one is employer employee issues these three i'm seeing because i, I also and have also relationship that, with oneself ah that that is i mean in all the three of course yeah. top on top of it yeah. because i spoke with couple of uh, people from uh, their advocates and they said like lot of enquiries are coming on these three areas as of now yeah yeah how do they have to cope up with this and i mean basic tips but of course for in depth thing they have to come to you i understand but uh, yeah. individual because it's it differs from person to person but basic tips uh, what should they adapt to is are there any things like from the morning till evening certain regimen which they have to follow at least yeah, to maintain yeah. true see there we have a very strict structure the structure mm. is like they need to do this like first thing in the morning the second thing in the morning then 
the audio they have to listen to the technique they have to practice once they do all these things mm. layer by layer layer by layer the stress mm. starts to reduce actually and from an intensity mm. level of let's say 10 which is 100% it comes down to 3 2 1 and even 0 after about mm. Uh, mm. one month or so they able to mm. actually take it and they are mm. very free relaxed they laugh more they smile more in fact uh, just a while, one week back you know i was doing an online session to a person in bangalore mm. and uh, you know in about 4 days time will you believe he mm. sent me a message he said for the past 2 years i have never laughed or smiled first time i have laughed yesterday and i'm just sending mm. you a sms immediately he sent me a message saying i'm i'm smiling mm. after a very very long time thank you and that just makes your day you know so uh, you know people can people have not laughed their heart out for even years together and that is the main cause of stress also many times actually speaking and mm-hmm. you know I, i i just remember that saying like uh, when i was young uh, i wanted to change the world and today i'm wise uh. and i've started to change yeah. myself uh 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 you know actually all change when it happens from inside the whole world becomes more harmonious and we are able to interact more uh, in a balanced manner uh, we are able to more control the situation the atmosphere and the climate outside once we control the weather and climate inside us that is our thoughts our beliefs our emotions once that is under control everything else outside automatically mm. comes into control mm, 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 mm. i hope i am getting through to you yes 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 now that, that's another thing which i would like to ask ask as yeah. well um are there any basic tips apart from coming to you and getting this regimen which i have to strictly follow are there any basic things which i should do and which i should refrain from doing to at least have a healthy lifestyle yeah basic basic things which uh, anybody could follow uh, whoever is yeah. doing this See, program yeah uh, i'll i'll tell you i mean for this uh, wonderful audience that we have now your hmm. people and yourself hari Uh, yeah. i can tell you some simple but very powerful things that we can do immediately yeah. uh, which is very simple but amazingly uh, practical and yeah. can bring about changes actually yeah. one yeah. is you are what you eat basically yeah. Yeah. so uh, w- the key thing is you must not eat uh, after about 7 o'clock at least 2 uh, or 2 hours before you sleep better not yeah. to eat yeah. that yeah. way you have a better sleep your sleep yeah. will be better Okay. once you able to sleep better mm. majority of the problems actually you know vanish okay um, and when you have a late dinner or something what happens the digestion and the digestive system is kind of upset your okay. sleep is upset and it has a whole chain reaction after that so okay. uh second thing is we have a lot of techniques to actually have deep sleep that will take a long time to explain but uh, uh, that they should come to you is, yeah uh, one thing uh. is uh, to have early dinner Okay. kind of more balanced diet with a lot mm. of greens vegetables and drink lots of water mm. and do basic breathing exercises like pranayama do basic yoga mm. stretches to keep your blood mm. circulation energy going around and mm. Um, mm. one technique mind technique that can i can tell you that can really really be powerful mm. uh is this mm. god mm. has given us natural hypnotic states two times Mm. they say that even mm. a clock that is not functioning shows the right mm. time twice every day mm. correct 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 uh, you know so mm. uh, like god has given by default natural mm. hypnotic states twice every day mm. and those natural hypnotic states are times where we can hypnotize ourselves mm. easily and naturally mm. and Then it I, happens uh, yeah it happens twice uh, when a brain wave comes down to the level of theta which is like mm. uh, the hypnotic level mm. so uh, every night when you go to sleep when sleep is not come and you're not fully awake mm. that time you are in a hypnotic state okay so that's okay. the reason like when before yeah, you fall yeah. asleep if you can read something inspiring uh, mm. a motivational book or mm. uh, something like the secret Mm, like ronda mm, burn yeah, or yeah. Uh, think and grow rich by napoleon hill or mm, listen mm, to an audio that is an mm, inspiring uh, speech mm, by mm, anyone mm, we have so many mm, people 
Mm. You just listen to it for five minutes and then just off it and go to sleep. That mm. will hypnotize you throughout the night. Okay, that's one part. And also, it's good to pray for about one or two minutes before you close your eyes and go to sleep. Two minutes of prayer. Okay. In that prayer, forgive yourself and forgive everyone for that particular day. Okay. So what happens is you let go of all the emotional baggage you're carrying for that day. Okay. Your soul is more rested. Your mind is more calmer, and you have a much more deeper sleep. Mm. So forgiving. And secondly, being grateful for all the things that you have. You have a roof above you. You have mm. bank. You have walk around money to go around. Mm. How many people mm. have got that? Mm. And mm. Uh, you have people like even if you have one person in your house who can look after you, who's loving, who's mm. a family mm. member or a, a significant other, you have mm. that person to share your life with. Mm. Uh, mm. Be thankful for that. Be thankful for everything. The food we have. Just being grateful, not just as a thought. But as an emotion, you must feel that gratefulness inside, mm. as a feeling. Mm. And this, being grateful, forgiving self and others, and just a simple prayer, that two gives, minutes, that okay. actually totally slows down the whole mechanism and gives a little peace inside you. With that peace, if you can go to sleep, your whole night will be beautiful. Your night is going to be having, without night pass, calm, at peace, you know. And you wake up in the morning. The second mm. part is that mm, mm. when you wake up, mm. when you wake up in the morning, you are awake, but you're not you're not fully awake. You've come mm. into consciousness. Sleep mm. has not fully left you, and you're not fully awake. You're hovering Correct. somewhere in the middle. Correct. That is the time where again theta level or the hypnotic level is functioning. Okay. okay. At that moment, what you need to do is. Just shrink your goal. What is your ideal self? For example, mm. Hari. What is mm. your ideal Hari for the day? Okay. You ask me should, now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. You should ask oh. yourself at okay. that point. Okay. What is the ideal self? What is the amazing person that I can be today? What is the optimal level I can function in today? How can mm. I excellently deliver my skills and talents to the society? Mm. Specifically, my, okay. specifically, mm. and mm. then feel those things and imagine that as if you're doing those activities, your agenda for the day. Mm. Now, in your mind, live them as a reality. Mm. The most important thing is imagine as if it's happening now with mm. feelings. Mm. 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 Yes, because that visualize actually, with mm. emotions. Mm. Visualizing with emotion is the secret. Okay. Visualizing without emotion has no power. Okay. Visualizing with emotion, you connect with the universe and the universe okay. will start bringing that as a law of attraction towards you and make it a reality in your life. Okay. So uh, do that for about 10 minutes until you feel a small shift inside you. Mm -hmm. You'll feel that like, small jerk. Yes, I mm -hmm. can feel that inside me. Now mm. I can do it. Mm. Yes, I can do it. Like Nike. Mm. Just mm. do it. You know, that feeling, <laughs> that voice goes inside you. Uh, 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 and uh, uh. once you get that click inside, yes, mm. I can. Then gently open your eyes and just be thankful for another beautiful day that God has given you, then, creation has given you. Okay. And go about your time. Go about your okay. day. Okay. And you will be surprised that all those things, what you thought of, will actually start happening. 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 Thank you. Thank you. The other thing which I wanted to ask is, um, yes, uh, we start the day like this. It's almost like, uh, say, driving. Uh, we are on the right track. We follow all the rules. We would like to drive in a proper speed, in a proper manner, following all the rules, and things are going fine. If in yeah. case if we uh, bump into somebody or if somebody bumps into us who are not in right state of mind for many reasons, uh, how do we handle that? Because there are... Uh, what I've seen in this, um, especially this period, people yeah. who are really calm and composed and people who are yeah. actually known for being really uh, a person with whom we can reach out for some advice. Um, I have seen slight change or a sudden flip in their approach or in uh, towards even talking or even a WhatsApp status. What I'm seeing okay. is a slight change. And uh, they themselves are realizing that, that there, is, there seems to be some sort of a shift in their thinking and it's more on a negative shade mm. why would that be and how do they come out of that 
see negativity is going to be there whether we like it or not actually okay okay the world is going to throw us negativities okay uh, that's the reason why you need certain tools mm, mm. to actually protect yourself and uh, keep yourself um, shielded from this negativity and go from the core of positivity just go from your inner core of positivity okay. Okay. and make that a habitual form of behavior and uh, feeling and thinking in your okay. everyday life this okay. actually has to ha become a habituation and okay. this habituation like many people say 21 days actually mm. india has literally hit the nail on the head india is the leader in most of these things actually mm. uh, westerners catch up a little slowly uh, i'm not against it but west because westerners are given lovely mm, takeaways mm. okay knowledge but mm. indians have researched it and uh, you know found all these things long time back 2000 years back <laughs> okay and that is if you want to make anything as a habit mm. it has to be done for 48 days you have to one repeat month. something for 48 days one you call mandala. it one mandala okay and once you do that for 48 days it sinks into your subconscious mind okay. and it becomes an automatic habit okay so okay. the tools that we are giving in our mm. sessions actually in one day intensive or a three month uh, core course mm. uh, these tools will be given to them and they'll be practicing it for more than 48 days actually because it's a three months program so oh, okay. they will actually <laughs> they'll okay. experience what it means to uh, go through what we are saying actually not as a theory but okay. as an experience okay. okay this is experiential training and once Love. you have that like you said when you go through uh, the daily routines in life nobody can actually break your energy and make you weaker or uh, break in negative thinking into you or things like that which pulls you down mm -hmm. so this you is can actually like trick, yeah okay. you can trigger yourself into activating the positive mindset and energy inside yeah. yourself okay. okay yeah okay now uh, another thing is uh, yeah. basic tips for relationship which i want to emphasize because uh, most of the things which i told like okay economic uh, people can discuss and at least they are open about it they are able to vent it out yeah. i've come across uh, many situations where they are not even able to talk about it and uh, they do not have answers they do not want to discuss with professional as of now uh, because it's not, it's too early they think it yeah. will solve by itself but it is only the one degree as the time grows by it's the degree part is going up more and more i'm talking yeah. about the relationship between the couples uh, are there any basic things which they have to follow because you mentioned one thing about when you end the day finish with the forgiving part yeah. before going to sleep so if there's yes. something you know that at least clear all the things from your heart and you go you know when yeah. you sleep you're clean is yeah. there anything like that for couples any special tips one or two yeah along with uh, along with uh, a uh, forgiving self and the significant other in mm. this case the husband or the wife mm. uh, what uh, something else that they can do is bless mm. now here all credit goes to our own again uh, oh. and the enlightened master from tamil nadu okay. uh, especially from good one jerry uh, oh. vedatri maharishi vedatri maharishi uh, started mm -hmm. this thing called varga valamudan yes yes varg yes. valamudan when you say varg yes. valamudan from your heart with feelings and emotions visualizing or imagining the person you are sending that vibrations to that vibration literally like i'm sending an sms to your mobile directly okay. goes into their inner unconscious mind and influences them and taps that door of their inner consciousness and wow. influences them so okay. uh when they can imagine the person because they are sleeping next to them just look at their face silently for a, a minute or two and mm. just with all their heart and all mm. their soul mm. say in any language they want it really doesn't language doesn't matter here mm. what matters here is the feeling and the emotion mm. and the intention with which it comes from your heart okay and once that intention is on track and it's directed mm. towards the person mm. uh, you do that for a couple of minutes and just unconditionally blessing them just unconditional okay blessing them for 2 minutes and going to sleep that's it don't think about anything just go to sleep 
Okay. And now we have a lot of music, like you know, natural music or music in the forest, music for sleep. Uh, correct, 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 correct. You know, just uh, put on those gentle music and just close your eyes and go up to slumber. Okay. And this blessing will keep going throughout the night, going throughout the night, along with the forgiving. Both these okay. things go together and create a beautiful harmony for themselves, and okay. helps them to see themselves from a, a different perspective, which is more empowering. You know, okay. yeah, and this has okay. to be done by both the people. Both the couples have to do that. Okay, okay. Only one person cannot do it, and the other person, you know. Okay, okay. It has both to be okay. To okay. Yeah, okay. only then it works. Okay. How about anxiety? Because uh, one thing which I'm seeing more now, of course, depression is all uh, there, but then the anxiety part is also there. Uh, yeah. Any tips for this uh, anxiety and depression, which is prevalent? See, now, anxiety. Mainly. We have uh, uh, techniques and audios for anxiety, which helps them to immediately control anxiety. Okay. Uh, what people can do now is actually uh, do pranayama mm. and uh, yoga mm. for about half an hour. That can absolutely control. For example, alternate nostril breathing for mm. about five minutes can balance both hemispheres. Mm. Both the left hemisphere and the right and hemisphere. The right. Okay. So um, uh, once the hemispheres are balanced, okay. the mind becomes more, you know, kind of uh, in the moment. Actually, it's able to see okay. things without judging, without being judgmental. Okay. And along with that, some uh, cardio exercise, maybe skipping, maybe brisk walking, or if they have a treadmill at home, using the treadmill for about half an hour until mm. they sweat it out, mm. and. Um, you know, their heartbeat is going fast and the endorphins are pumped into their bloodstream. Mm. Endorphins are like feel-good chemicals, you know. Mm, 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 mm. So once that is happening inside, uh, they start feeling good and stress is automatically neutralized. Okay. Of course, it happens step by step. It's not like a magic, uh, you know, wand. It happens overnight. Okay. And it takes about a couple of weeks to feel it, experience it, and then it becomes a beautiful habit. Okay. Okay. RJ from uh, Velur, Ms. Shiva Priya, she is actually uh, uh, repeating the areas which you have discussed. Uh, she mentioned about the shields to protect ourselves. 48 days, one mandalam, she has mentioned. Now we have another viewer, Tamil Rasi Sampat. She would like yeah. to know about any tips for postpartum depression, how to deal with it. What's that? Postpartum depression. Uh, depression which gets after the delivery, the mother undergoes. Okay. Because normal. Because uh, normally, uh, what we see that the huge mood swings after the when the yeah. changes are happening inside the body. Yeah. Uh, see, there is something called as uh, tapping or EFT. Okay. Emotional uh, technique, um, mm. which actually taps on your pressure points with mm. certain words that you tell as you tap those points. Mm. This actually mm. helps a great deal in depression of any kind. Mm. Mm. And mm. uh, if uh, she can practice EFT mm. from any trainer or uh, anybody, she can mm. come in contact uh, online mm. or maybe take an Udemy course on mm. uh, EFT. Mm. That can help a person to a great extent on depression. Okay. Depression, it oh. does magic. Okay. Postpartum depression. Okay. Yes. Yes. Depression of all kinds. Even this uh, postpartum uh, yeah. de after pregnancy depression. Yes. Okay. Okay. And uh, when it comes to uh, dealing with children, like this, yeah. all these techniques we are talking about the adults, uh, there yeah. are also this kind of emotions mm -hmm. which are happening to children. Are there any? How do we identify that they are undergoing this kind of trauma or their restlessness? Because I see two or three things which most of my friends mention is like one, they seek for attention or yeah. they sleep too much or they don't sleep or they eat too much or they don't eat. Uh, these are the things which they are noticing. But other than that, are there any visible mm -hmm. areas where they where we understand that they need support or help? Children, is so it? Children, children part, yeah. Yeah, children, yeah. I, I think more hands-on and uh, quality time. Now we have a lot of quality time, actually. Uh, uh, that is very important because okay. uh, cutting down on um, too much use of electronics, mm. like whether it's mobile phone or playing mm. too many games, uh, or even online, you know, other platforms where they are doing other things, uh, they should actually limit it to some extent and get into games, 
uh, or okay. do like uh, yoga with the family like uh-huh. whole family coming <laughs> and performing yeah, whole, yoga uh, let it be a family yoga time why not actually okay you know okay. like uh, 8:30 to 9 o'clock can be family yoga time okay uh, when I they re- can actually all when they can okay. actually get together and uh-huh. now we have so many uh, yoga sessions happening like online you can just put it on and follow uh-huh. the trainer there okay okay you don't have to learn it from a you know a flesh and blood trainer you can have it uh, as a person online on the uh, line online session re- and re- everybody mm-hmm. has to come in everybody mm-hmm. has to come the father mother the child mm-hmm. only the then family. it makes it into yeah the chemistry happens there actually i remember once you mentioned like you know in this lockdown when people are saying okay it's claustrophobic i'm not able to go out and this is really uh, distressing a family i remember you mentioned they wanted to surprise the children so yeah. they changed part of the house as a restaurant where yeah. they did all the interiors with what possible what they could do with what is available and they were exactly. able to imp- make the f- uh, children yeah. feel that joy so um, in fact they you- they invite they created a menu yeah. card the parents yeah. the father and mother yeah. uh, a special menu card for the children they made the table they set the table up like yeah. a restaurant with the spoons yeah. forks napkins and everything uh, yeah. soup bowls and everything Uh, uh, and uh, uh, the father took the order and mother cooked the stuff <laughs> and sent it across to the children and uh, the children had a wonderful time it was a party like you must create games like this you know uh, uh, and uh, once uh, you create games with uh, the children then it becomes like uh, no video game can uh, beat this actually this. correct yeah correct, yeah, correct. yeah yeah we have to be a- creative any any particular uh, food or any vegetable or fruits which you suggest for people to because uh one thing which while in the food and beverage industry in my early days where, where we were giving when people especially from air from flights uh yeah. pilot or any cabin crew when they come we give them carrot juice with a dash of ginger which will yeah. calm them down before they go to sleep because they all get up very early they don't have any routine and exactly. the clock is apaza so but then uh that is one of the things which we used to give a carrot juice with a dash of ginger is always yeah. given for calming them down are there anything specific which will help people to calm down any juice or any fruits or anything because now the easy resort is ice cream you yeah. know but then but then uh, uh, too much of that is also not good but anything which is healthy which will help people to because celery stick is one thing which which, which is men- mentioned but then celery stick and all those things is not like because it's like two extremes whether the people love it or hate it there's no in between yeah. in the celery stick eating it raw any fruits yeah. any vegetables you suggest anything like that i think a very well balanced diet a lot of greens and a lot of vegetables uh, uh is good but mm. if you're talking about calm down mm. i think nothing will beat a warm cup of milk mm. uh, before going to bed reason, or before going to bed especially but even uh. to calm down otherwise why okay. calm down otherwise is because um uh. Uh, milk has got a chemical called melatonin melatonin okay. okay uh, comes comes down it's uh, it's that thing that that uh, chemical that puts you to sleep okay, Ca- okay. melatonin and okay. milk has got that uh, tra- okay. neurotransmitters and stuff like that it call okay. let's not okay. go into technicalities of it but correct. it's got correct. that correct. chemical uh, let it's got the chemical that uh, induces or calms a person down and helps a person to sleep it not be just okay. sleep it can mm. be just calming a person down a warm glass okay. of milk okay uh, with a dash of honey can do wonderful uh, magic to calm down okay okay how does uh, okay uh, it is normal again because there's one of the messages that have come uh, long distance relationships in this time what do they have to do is the question which i have received they are stuck in two different places and they are newly yeah. married and they want to keep the relationship alive apart mm-hmm. from phone calls and video calls are there any other techniques which are asking certain areas which you have to focus I understand okay. this is not directly related to our subject but then <laughs> <laughs> um that's we'll a good one okay <laughs> we can uh, we can actually pro- uh, maybe see it in this way in not mm-hmm. i mean instead of long distance relationship or whether they are in the re- same house how do they have to i mean it's normal for one person to become upset or angry or for multiple yeah. reasons it can be either of the spouse so how does the other one have to respond to that or how does that person have to equip themselves to respond what should they focus on because yesterday i was talking uh, mm. uh, mr nandakumar irs he was mentioning okay. at certain age certain things trigger in women 
and when that yeah. change happens it is not that they really want to act that way but it is the uh, hormones which is making them that so he said like at the menopause stage it is important that men understand the husband understands or the dad understands that she is undergoing this and taking a sponge attitude yeah. and absorbing it not tripling it immediately or uh, immediately a combat situation happens but if it yeah. is going to be uh, you know both the ways he said then there is no problem at all and he was yeah. also mentioning about the curve uh, in the relationship first 3 years and after uh, childbirth and then when the child uh, again goes for school and after that college and during marriage the different ups and downs he was mentioning he stressed see, on the us, is, uh, these are areas ah uh, see the thing is actually uh it's very good for uh, the husband and wife or maybe people who are in a relationship uh, uh maybe lovers whoever to mm. understand uh, the mindset of a woman if that mm. person is a man or mm. a mindset of a man if that person is a woman mm. and uh, understanding how their mindset is how the emotional set is is mm. very 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 important we'll have mm. to educate mm. ourselves on that there's no mm. sh- shortcuts on it why not mm-hmm. invest time in mm-hmm. in learning about how the mm-hmm. the psyche of a man functions how mm-hmm. the psyche of a woman functions mm-hmm. what are their likes and dislikes what are the likes and dislikes of a man and a woman and mm-hmm. what are the highs and lows how can you mm-hmm. influence them mm-hmm. uh, you know these kind of things is best available through books mm-hmm. and uh, courses the best i would say is uh, men are from mars and women are from venus this John book Gray. is mm-hmm. yeah john gray it's a mm-hmm. gold mine it's a gold mm-hmm. mine mm-hmm. i can straight away recommend all of our friends who are watching to actually mm-hmm. go through it you can get it as a audio file also nowadays free mm-hmm. on youtube mm-hmm. just listen to it what mm-hmm. actually makes a person or makes a woman uh, get turned off or angry mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. upset or mm-hmm. down and out mm-hmm. you know once you know that mm-hmm. you can actually know what influences them mm-hmm. and how to reset it and mm. uh, repair that mm. what kind of language pattern must you use to that person in order to make them feel better how okay. to ask a sorry itself is an art you know true <laughs> true 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 yeah okay. okay so all those things are given in the book and even more so okay. it's a great knowledge uh, okay. like you said a gold mine okay one more area which i want to discuss is people uh, with great focus they yeah. start a business with great ideas and like minded people coming together they start with yeah. good intention and they start but uh, probably down the lane that focus slowly deteriorates what could be the reason when it comes to partnership or even in a focus because i know a lot of people who started the business i'm not talking yeah. about this corona period i'm not mm. talking about this corona period they mm-hmm. were actually going uh, good and they were making real good uh, uh, you know the more than what they were expecting they were going beyond their projections and they were opening up yeah. more restaurants but at one point they realized that uh, this is not what they want is it uh, my question is is too much of too much of success also uh, makes people to part their ways is that so because these two are family friends for generations and when they saw real massive success they were not yeah. able to handle it mm. how do people have to handle their success because more than the failure i am also seeing the other end where if it's massive success they do not know how to cope up with it or they know to handle it what could be the yeah. reason behind that see generally <clears throat> any time by this a partnership mm. it can be marriage or a business partnership mm. uh, it's always like both parties or how many people are involved if it's a business mm. Mm. have to constantly work on themselves and the partnership okay constantly you know, it's, mm. it's yeah it's an ongoing process uh, mm. they should be more flexible and open minded and mm. uh, be a team player basically and always mm. kind of correct their own uh, intentions where they are coming from what is mm. the vision in which they started the business when they actually started it what why the they started in- yeah yeah mm. why did they start it that mm. big mm. why is the secret w h mm. y why why did they start the business initially mm. uh, have they gone off track somewhere now and mm. if they have gone off track uh, where specifically are they off track and mm. what are they supposed to do specifically to come back on track mm. is it an action or is it a change in plan or mm. is it is it a change in behavior mm. of either or both of them no okay. they need to analyze they need to reflect and they need to maybe even go and take a break go to a hill station and talk about 
like with the core team members what is mm. happening now what's wrong mm. now mm 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 you know break it down and mm. uh, put everything out mm you know i have actually gone to uh, as a as a entertainer like an illusionist oh. Oh. i've gone to core breakthrough meetings uh, mm, uh, for some top companies where mm. only four people were there only four mm mm Th- they are the deciding people and mm. they were having blocks in their business like they hit a roof and they're not able to like break through Hope that a plateau okay. and okay. Uh, they are actually at a crossroad what are they supposed to do close the business or do what Uh, correct it's correct. like you know at that point they bring mm. all these people like uh mindstorming people like hypnotists and this and that people who can just uh, give a small key and open that door or help them to think off beat okay and uh, they were like after that they have a cocktail a dinner and all that and mm. many times they have found mm. that small idea mm. at the end of that which mm. could actually you know bring about a small turning point and that can slowly become a bigger turning point after sometime uh, in okay. fact uh, it's not me but mm. their brainstorming session there has helped them to bring about turning points change the location and get the co people to open up and put facts on the table without holding back and ask This... the question ask the question why did we uh. start the business initially mm. Mm. what was our intention when we started it where are we mm. now mm. what's wrong here mm. one question See, here you, basically hari i'll tell you uh, mm-hmm. quality questions creates a quality life okay your answers are only as good as your questions okay successful you people mean, are successful because they ask successful questions actually okay okay we are talking about the questions for the group who is not in good yeah. terms not the questions exactly. i'm asking you now these are <laughs> not okay. the questions you're asking me <laughs> the questions they ask themselves no, no, i'm just kidding. okay okay can bring about turning points in their life quality okay. questions is very important one question i have here i understood yeah. like you know when there's an issue where two people have to come shivapriya is saying for a long distance relationship it's better to keep quiet okay a message has come okay uh, <laughs> <laughs> keeping quiet will actually enable yeah. a lot of things to be okay uh, two yes. people they want to understand and they want to be clear and they want to continue with the relationship so they come they talk and they discuss everything they bring to the table in a different location i understand yeah. if i have to discuss with a person or if a person has to discuss with me about a issue which is going on i should come out of the state uh, place where i'm in and that person has to come out from the place where they are in and they have to come to a neutral place to discuss this yeah if i'm going to one person comes out to a neutral and the other person stays in the same zone and yeah. they refuse to come out of it so whatever yes. this other person who has come out is going to Correct. give us input this is not going to reach here what do exactly. we do in that ca- what do we do in that case see that's the reason why most of our training programs itself we uh, have it in a hill station or a mm. place away from their familiar zones actually oh, okay and that is another reason why learning from home itself right now uh, we are having right now uh, is going to take a little time to get used to because uh, Uh, it is like we are not triggered or we are not anchored uh, to this place to learn something this is a place where we are relaxing this is a place yeah. where we are with the family actually true you know true um so we'll have to understand that and we have to create and cultivate a new habit of learning in a place where we call as home and that is okay. a learned habit actually you have to cultivate that habit and it's learnable okay. and i okay. think people have to invest their time to learn that actually mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know so that will so, that will break this yeah that will break okay. this ideally it is good to go to a totally different location okay ideally but okay. during these times we'll have to do it what is available okay now uh, one question has come from uh, fahira reshman uh, advice okay. on o- advice on overthinking please overthinking is causing unnecessary things overthinking yeah. in the de- de- uh, there's a way. beautiful uh, 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 zen uh, saying like you know when the mm. mind is running too much when the mind is running too much mm. move the body okay when the mind is running too much move the body okay so uh, so now we can't move the body outside your house but okay. you can still do move your body inside the house Okay see okay. actually just imagine we have a particular unit of energy inside our body right mm, which mm. is distributed for thinking 
and which is distributed for the other functions of the body. Mm. Let's say an X unit of energy. Mm. Now, if all the energy is channelized towards your thinking and uh, mindset and all the energy is going towards emotions and thinking mm. and your body is sitting still and you're not mm. doing anything at all, you're sitting mm. before a monitor and watching a Netflix movie. Mm. Mm. The mind, the, all the energy is going towards the mind, the brain is starting to overflow more. Okay. Right. So Correct. what happens is uh, most of the time and too much of energy is going towards the brain. Okay. Uh, it, it works more negatively than positively. It's, it's common for everyone. Okay. Now, when you actually uh, shift that energy and channelize it towards your body, do an mm. intensive workout. Even mm. if you have just a, a couple of dumbbells in your house or mm. a skipping rope, mm. just do uh, like whatever your capacity is. Like if you can do 100 skips or 500 or 1000 skips, mm. uh, do 1000 skips or mm. do a complete uh, dumbbell workout until you're mm. able to you know, get that energy flowing throughout your body, like mm. your shoulders, your arms, your chest, your abs, your legs, <coughs> the whole body is kind of worked out. Now mm. the whole energy is flowing everywhere. You'll be surprised, okay. the mind okay. will become calmer. Mind becomes calmer. Okay. Okay. And you couple it up with, like I told you, uh, alternate nostril breathing and deep breathing exercises, uh -huh. it, the calmness becomes much more deeper after that. Okay, okay, okay. And then you can couple it uh, with uh, more into binaural music, or a natural music, like uh, anything, any music that can put you into a beta, I mean, a theta, theta kind of brainwave. Yeah, a brainwave okay. kind of thing. There's music that you can put it on your earphones and you can get into a, a relaxed state very fast. So you, you mix your workout, full body workouts or uh, with, skipping okay, uh, uh, with uh, pranayama and okay. listen to some really soothing, calming music. Which okay. interests you? There's no particular music, whichever you okay, like. Okay, okay, okay. But we don't want like hard beats, you know, thumping beat and all that. We okay, want something okay. that's very, very calming and very soothing. Okay. And uh, if you have a terrace, it's great to listen to it on a terrace. Okay. On your earphone. Yes. Okay. I remember once you had mentioned about a particular type of uh, earphone which will help you not only to listen but also to get the whole body vibrating. Oh, you had yeah, mentioned yeah. something about your therapy. Yeah, what kind of therapy yeah. is that? Uh, I mean, uh, oh my God, I, 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 that's a fantastic thing you brought up. Huh? By the way, uh, if there are therapists watching this program, I'm telling you, uh, guys, you're lucky today because uh, uh, that earphone is an amazing earphone. I'm telling okay. you, it's amazing. Get it. It's because it's called uh, it's called a bone conduction earphone headphone, a bone conduction headphone. Mm -hmm. Like here, I have a, a headphone that goes into my ears, right? Mm -hmm. See, th these bone conduction headphones come and come and settle down near your jaws, literally, mm -hmm. where your jaws meet your ear, like that area where it meets here outside. Correct, correct, correct. So correct. Uh, you have, your pads are here. It doesn't go here. It goes here. And you'll be able to listen to the music as clearly as a normal headphone or earphone. Okay. And the beauty is once it's here, this music hits your nervous system directly. Mm -hmm. It just mm -hmm. connects with your nervous system and the whole music or whatever it is. If it's OM chanting, for example, OM, mm -hmm. or um, you have, you know, chakra meditation where you take the Mula Mantra for each chakra. And that mm. is repeated, right? Mm. So that's mm. also available. For those kind of things like Om or uh, Mula Mantra uh, chanting with music, if you put it on your bone conduction uh, yeah, headphones, you can feel the vibration throughout your whole body. True, true, true. And true, the true. healing is, Hari, I'll tell you, the healing is miraculous. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. And uh, one thing I'll tell you is, uh, our friends have to listen to it at least for about, uh, don't expect magic always once or twice you listen to it, everything happens. Do okay. it for about a couple of weeks and okay. you'll feel an amazing change. Amazing change. Okay. Okay. This uh, music, when it goes inside, like I did remember uh, yeah. once when I... By the way, when it, you came to my office, right? You tried yeah. it once. Correct. Right? That's yeah. what I was about to tell. When I... Yeah. Uh, when that settled here in the temple, little bit in, in a part of the temple, and when yeah. that uh, music started, it's just what six, three to six, three to four minutes of uh, so, uh, music, yeah. and um, 
right after the fin uh, you know end portion of it when you actually uh, the finished portion yeah. the tail part of it has come and then when i open my eyes it it was almost like um, taking bath in kutralam or you know some some <laughs> effect, you know completely refer- because so, i yeah. came but uh, i still remember only after you mentioned it i can remember those things like you know where my shoulders shoulders were slouched and then my portion changed one yes. second thing uh, uh, the posture also changed this too i re- realized after you mentioned he said like you know did you sleep well last night and then after the music and then when i sta- uh, you know stood erect and all those things uh, i still remember yeah. that I would so, highly so recommend friends, this. I think, uh, friends, I think you got <laughs> Harish saying it right from the horse's mouth. Now you know how powerful this stuff is. Yeah, It was really, really a good experience. Uh, I think I got a brand called uh, Aftershocks. Hmm. Aftershocks is the brand I got. But you can buy any correct. brand you want. It's good. Yeah. Correct. correct. Yeah. We have Tamil Arasi Sampat with one more question. How do I figure out which of my feeling is true? For some days, I'm totally fine with my life and ready to accept life the way it is. after a few days everything piles up and i become totally a different person with full of negative thoughts and it goes to extreme that i start hating every single person around this has been happening with me after my second delivery on and off not always yeah. i've hurt my i've hurt my kids and my in-laws my husband and as i assume this is because of not having clear understanding yeah see actually like i told you we also have an intensive eft training Mm. emotional freedom technique training we have a intensive workshop on that also mm. uh, mind academy that is like mm. i conduct those trainings mm. so i think i highly recommend her tamarasi to uh, attend one of those trainings because we can we have actually made that uh, tapping uh, technique so powerful because we have okay. tried it with so many people from uh, you know it professionals to advocates doctors housewives uh, professionals business people everyone sports people mm. and mm. we have you know uh, uh, by trial and error we have come mm. to a very simple way of doing it so simple mm. and so mm. powerful results mm. kind of like are magical so mm. if uh, if she can actually have the time to come online or give me a call i can help her out sure sure tamil sir i'll share the number and the email yeah. id you can get in, get in touch with him thank you and the other one which i want to ask is like uh, this motivation of Yeah. feeling positive and all those things are good they i listen to a session of yours in or i view it in youtube or i talk to you i feel good about it and then yeah. okay that that's there for say couple of hours or couple of days and then it slowly goes down so yeah. are there anything which i have to do internally to push it up like a, ma- like a b12 it? b12 like say b12 <laughs> injection you think b12 <laughs> injection like uh, you feel really good like you're like superman for some time <laughs> and then after the b12 injection slowly drains uh, down and goes out of your system you're back to square one like that just, right uh, uh, <clears throat> see the idea is like all motivation is self motivation <clears throat> you have to remember correct. that mm. nobody outside can actually motivate you at all we mm. have to understand this very clearly mm. nobody can actually motivate you from outside they mm. can be a trigger mm. they can trigger you mm. and just light that fire for you mm. but you will have to do the work in order to create that inner motivator inside you mm. for mm. that you will have to be clear about your own belief systems and identity what you really want in your life what are your mm. core goals and values in life mm. once you know that your mm. passion will mm. start lighting up actually once the identity is on track you will be able to mm. know the purpose the purpose of why i'm here on this earth and what is the mm. bigger purpose of uh, living here what's my contribution going to be for uh, the mm. society mm. for humanity at mm. large and all mm. those things slowly open up what mm. happens is the inner motivation starts to spin mm. and that's the motivation we want to go and build up mm. and you know become automatic inside us mm. so the outer motivator a person mm. can be a trigger for mm. the inner motivator to come alive okay but finally the inner motivator has to come alive a program okay. like the one day program or uh, uh, intensive program okay can show the steps to actually find the inner motivator inside okay. and and build that inner motivator inside mm, 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 mm. work that person out work the muscles of the inner motivator inside mm. so that they are on track as far as life is concerned okay 
okay and they don't need any external force to you know push them forward okay. whether it's covid or whether it's anything else tomorrow it could be some other you know surprise that will sort okay. of life throws at us we are yeah. always there on track to take yeah. life head on and face it okay now i want to ask you about like you know the the theme is more on uh, think lateral so yeah. of course we will be facing as you mentioned like you know life is part of uh, peaks and valleys and ups and downs we are going to be facing this as and when we roll out and there's going to be a lot of things coming up our way how do we handle failures in a lateral thinking manner or how See, do we have to uh, uh, come be in a frame of mind where i can understand what first of all what is lateral thinking and second how do i start thinking in that direction because i'm more in the used route which you know like a, a water flows in the mud like you know the my groove is already set how do i break the yeah. pattern and go to the next route or how do i keep challenging myself to come up with something new because always it's the same way things are connected and you know uh, how do i break yeah. the pattern see how you break the pattern you said the thing like <clears throat> how you break the pattern is you have to break the pattern actually <laughs> So like uh, no, but, uh, techniques, like techniques, you said uh, like you said uh, <laughs> you have to change your vocabulary first uh, <clears throat> like we said sometime back uh, what happens uh, if i have failure how do i think laterally we uh, must first and foremost change that word failure we must stop okay. using the word failure okay and reframe it as a challenge instead mm. of failure if you use the mm. word challenge mm. how does it feel inside mm. okay okay using the right so that which i can take it up and then i can yeah. face it mm. so once you reframe and put the right word oh i am facing mm. a challenge now and i am sure i can break these walls down and i can mm. come down successfully mm. so uh, so one thing is you have to use change the vocabulary that you're using on yourself your self talk mm. itself mm. most mm. of the time you're using negative self talk during times of challenges like mm. uh, when you are facing failure what is negative mm. self talk mm. the talk that happens inside our mind silently mm. what we talk to ourselves through thoughts is called as self talk mm. and when you are facing through challenges or failures most of the people are like how are they like you know they are mm. going to use words like oh my god why is this happening and uh, i don't know i am not lucky enough i don't have the right education i don't have the right background i'm just unlucky my luck doesn't favor me all those things you know change the vocabulary like i can do it i'm smart i can learn okay i have the capacity to keep growing in an ongoing basis i'm going to commit myself to excellence every single day i'm going to okay. learn a new science a new art i'm going to increase my professional uh, qualification by taking this course okay and take action on it take action 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 is the key there's no okay. point in keep on mulling over it in thoughts again and again jump out okay. and take action take the okay. course now okay. we can all you can do is take online courses but do that you know because uh, that can put you on a different track learn mm. something new that you have never learned mm. step out of your comfort zone that you are always mm. afraid to come out of mm. Mm. face your fear literally take action and face your fear mm. learn an art for example like art therapy like mm. learn painting learn mm. something new mm. what happens when you do that you create new neuronal connections inside your brain mm. and by creating new neuron enmeshment inside and connections inside your mm. thinking starts to change slowly mm-hmm. and you start thinking outside the box and new okay. thoughts starts to come in okay change the group of people you are constantly in connection and communication with create new groups of people who can give you fresh thoughts that can mm. open new doors of thinking creatively mm. 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 this is another way okay so bombarding with new ideas and changing the circles whom we move with yeah. on a daily basis supports okay exactly and take new actions take new action do something difficult every day mm. okay maybe write with your left hand okay. if you are a right hander okay okay do something difficult every day that challenges and makes your brain grow new neuron connections happen actually okay when new connections happen new thinking happens period okay uh with your permission can i sh- share about this uh, program which you are discussing about where they have a 
a very limited time to register for a discounted rate. Uh, can I mention about that? I've also sure. Uh, okay. Uh, this program, uh, viewers, this is a reprogram mine, which is going to be a 90-minute power pack session where both of us will be involved. And the in-depth sessions are also there for long-term, uh, one day. And then also there are other courses which will be shared. But if you're interested to register, uh, you can follow the ticker and all the details will be shared. Uh, so now coming back to this lateral thinking, why do uh, most of the successful leaders, uh, I mean, like, is it like by they know by... By nature, they're able to come up with that, or is it by getting a mentor? How do they come up with this lateral thinking? Like, you know, because it's not that every single person is having a mentor, but some of the leaders yeah. without having a, a proper guidance or a mentor, they're able to go laterally and they have achieved success. Most of the leaders yeah. were successful. How does yeah. it happen? Like you think, for example, all uh, leaders, many of the leaders have been mm. creative people. Many mm. leaders have been creative. Mm. They have been either uh, writing poetry mm. or uh, writing stories or acting in the mm. film industry. Um, mm. They've been on different kind of creative fields. Mm. Creative fields or um, lateral thinking is a creative process. It's a right brain oriented thinking. Mm. It's not linear thinking. Linear thinking is more logical, more critical, more structured. Mm. You know, two plus two is four. Okay. But lateral is more into 2 plus 2 is 5, where you think very differently. For that, okay. if people are not basically oriented into lateral thinking, okay. they should start taking up creative arts. Okay. They should take up a workshop on storytelling, for example. Okay. You know, a workshop on storytelling. I think somebody in Chennai is doing storytelling workshops. Okay. You know, uh, a storytelling workshop on the spot helps you to think laterally because they'll ask you to pick a slip of paper and ask you to tell a story about one particular subject, which correct, you don't correct. know about. You have to build the story on the spot right there, right then to that people. Right, so okay. you have to think on your feet and think creatively right there. Mm. So that challenges your mind to, mm. you know, think differently. Mm, mm, mm. You're literally shocking your brain to literally mm. think in different ways. No mm, time mm. is given. When mm. no time is given, you start thinking the subconscious mind takes over and mm. uh, creative thinking starts to happen. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. okay. But now another thing is um, we also have consultants coming in corporates where they help people to be like, be it uh, sports or be it uh, business, pharma industry or hospital. Yeah. Like there's a lot of consultants are hired to help the people's morale up and help them uh, come out of their stress and things like that. Are there yeah. any techniques where this corporate who, uh, who are under tremendous stress or entrepreneurs for that matter now, co considering the current situation we are in, who are undergoing heavy stress and there are some of them even uh, openly shared that in Twitter. Yeah, uh, actually know, frankly, on social media. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, true. Uh, no, I mean, are there anything which uh, uh, you'd like to give them as tips to come out of it? See, what is happening is every entrepreneur, oh. um, every entrepreneur, for example, has a unique form of stress because they have <clears throat> their specific background from where they're coming, mm. their business culture from where they're coming. <clears throat> mm. So each entrepreneur is unique. Mm. Okay. And each entrepreneur's mind is unique because they function like one entrepreneur will be only able to manage about 100 people. One entrepreneur can manage about uh, thousands of people with absolute ease, actually. So we can't generalize and say this is what is for entrepreneurs, actually. Why I'm okay. saying this is because right now, in this time of uh, the COVID-19 time, uh, where Correct. there's a lockdown happening, Correct. we are actually connecting with a lot of entrepreneurs online, a lot of entrepreneurs. Okay. Okay. And uh, I am kind of surprised. I am, it's a learning experience for me itself mm. because each person is coming with a totally unique kind of a problem. Mm. Some is like many of them, mainly financial. Uh, okay. Many times it's depression. Many times it's pushed to a corner, no solutions, no doors opening. Many okay. times it's like very extreme negative thoughts. Uh, okay. Many times it's a family situation and each, okay. for example, even if you take a family situation, 
there are so many different ways in which this problem is opening up there is no okay. one way of you know a family problem there's so many family problems you have it's very really difficult to actually you know tell it in a public forum also so I understand, I understand. Uh, okay. you can't generalize and put a family problem itself in one slot it's okay. very difficult so okay. because of the uniqueness and uh, the greatness with which human beings are made we'll have to give respect to each human being in this particular aspect i feel and uh, tackle them in that particular way they need to be handled okay okay in this way i don't think i am at this point i can say something that might uh, help everyone or you know one size fit all kind of no, thing no understand understand yeah understand. because each yeah. one of us are undergoing a different uh, exactly you know, and this pandemic to... Uh, has actually opened up a, a challenge for therapists i want to tell you that part for many okay. therapists itself it's opened up a new challenge because problems we have never seen before are now coming forward never seen before huh. so it's a learning okay. experience for the therapists also okay yeah okay one question uh, how do yeah. people like you who help people uh, stay in right spirit right frame of mind what do you do to yourself to stay applying what you're teaching others is one but uh, yeah. day in day out i remember certain examples that you mentioned like you know when people i come x y z everybody comes and they keep venting out yeah. what they feel even the person the body leaves the room what yes. they have discussed what they have said is there how do you cleanse it Or how do you cleanse yourself with your thoughts yeah and- so i think it is an amazing <laughs> question i you know what uh, yeah. the most uh, effective affected people in therapy is the therapist because exactly. day in yeah. and day out <clears throat> they are meeting people who have got highly depressive thoughts depressive emotions negative thinking pattern unwanted uh, emotions all yeah. kinds of uh, habitual systems like believing uh, yeah. habits yeah. they are all pouring it on the therapist everybody is pouring yeah. energies negative energies on the therapist unless mm. the therapist takes mm. time every day to mm. cleanse himself completely mm. cleanse himself or herself mm. Mm. uh mentally physically emotionally mm. and even spiritually they are going to be affected very deeply and the quality of their therapy is going to go down more than okay. the quality of the therapy i would say they will have an a, a very bad uh emotional accident if you want to put it or a feeling accident because they'll be hit from all sides they won't know how to handle it the best okay. way to do it is self cleansing and self healing okay so we can do this through uh, a sound therapy or music therapy okay uh you can uh, for example take bath uh in rock salt warm water bucket okay. filled with uh, dissolved in rock salt a bath okay. or take a bath in it or put your feet in it for a okay. few for 10 15 minutes um or use feng shui bells mm. to cleanse your energy mm-hmm. uh do om chanting om mm. chanting is an amazing self healing uh, technique again okay. india uh india is the place for everything it heals all the chakras okay. om chanting heals every single chakra from the muladhara to the sahasrara and it cleanses all your vibrations and energy and uh, these are all methodologies where you cleanse yourself so okay. unless your energy is working at the optimal level you mm. cannot go and influence somebody else's energy because finally hari we are all energy bodies we are all true true bundles of energy true and uh, our energy has to be at the peak if we want to influence somebody true 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 yeah i hope i'm i answer no, no, you Yes, 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 yes. No, the reason is like you know, I've also yeah. I'm keeping the same thing for doctors and policemen and uh, different yeah. field where people are actually working tirelessly. Uh, psychosocial aspect, uh, all the clinical psychologists, all the people who are working in corporation, municipality, all the yeah. people who are actually in roads cleaning now in this yeah. corona, I see them also like you know, in spite of uh, all the other facilities and things given. Yes, of course they get paid, but then there's also a stage where they feel overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, basic True. things. Okay. Um, I remember few areas where you had mentioned like how to 
take care of them, like, you know, the sleep and all those things. But here, we know for sure that these people are not going to get eight hours sleep or even six hours sleep. Yeah. Uh, In fact, what I, I told you now, uh, uh, like self-cleansing, uh, uh, self-healing methodologies, uh, uh, we take it as a one full session for uh, our full-fledged hypnotherapy course. Correct, correct. correct. This one is full session uh, is taken uh, uh, uh. for self-healing alone. Mm, mm. So that they is can actually act the last session. The last session we take is uh. self-healing for all the hypnotherapists uh, who come to our oh. training. Okay, okay. And okay. this uh, beauty is, what you said now is a very nice point, actually. Mm. Uh, whether it's the uh, police department or whether it's the medical department, doctors, nurses, and the other staff in the hospital, uh, this kind of self-healing can definitely help them. I think we should take it forward and uh, spread this message to uh, these departments because they really need it at this time. They really need it. I did it after discussing with you for humanitarian yeah. workers. I did discuss with my team and a lot of people are interested, especially people yeah. who are in uh, paramedical field, because constantly they are dealing with people in pain and yeah. death. Yeah. And uh, uh, it's not just once in, you know, you see a movie and then it's only the climax part or uh, just before the interval part, there is a little bit of uh, yeah. adrenal rush. These people deal yes. from the beginning till the end with full, uh, you know, they are always on their toes. So I, I used I have friends all over India in this particular ambulance and. In fact, I think you are the right person to take this across to these sections of people because you are in that profession. You know, I I did My I did speak to them. Yeah. I'll definitely do that. I did speak to this uh, uh, ambulance, um, all the people from around eight to twelve people, main trainers who train yeah. these people in across India. I had a, a session with them, online session, where they said like uh, this was never addressed before. And yeah. we are happy at least you brought this up because most no, even I'm ready to help uh, in any way yeah. you want. I'm ready to help you actually. You know yeah. why the reason is um, even in the uh, aircrafts, mm. aircraft, mm. when you get in an aircraft, uh, you know, when the cabin pressure goes down and the um, oxygen mask oxygen comes mask down up. on you, yeah. Yeah. yeah, who do you put the oxygen mask to? Do you put the oxygen mask first on your child or your sister or your mother? No, first to you, you put the then... oxygen mask on yourself first. Yes, Unless yes. you put the oxygen mask on yourself, you can't help somebody else after that. True, true, true. <laughs> true, true, true. Same I mean, applies here, actually. Same applies here. If I have to help a person who is suffering first, yeah. I shouldn't suffer. Good, exactly. good, good. And uh, about the eating and sleeping part, like, you know, we spoke on that. And we also spoke yeah. about the relationship part. We touched on the lateral thing. Uh, when there is this uh, of a massive flow of uh, negativity because of certain issues which are happening around us yeah uh, does the same uh, techniques which you mentioned apply or there are, uh, are there any aggressive techniques for us to shield us because sometimes uh, i mean see when it is a uh, society with a lot of things happening and uh, we do come across certain situations certain incidents or accidents which actually overpower the news channels yeah or overpower yeah. all the social media uh, sometimes it becomes overdose. Yes. Uh, there's a you're situation asking whether where, there are yeah. You're asking no, whether no, there are more powerful techniques. Tower, powerful techniques to break this because I see people like uh, more than the actual corona, more than actual COVID. The news about it is actually affecting them. Yeah. Thinking about it is that. affecting them. Uh, they should I mean, like, take a news. They should uh, actually take a news fast. New, yeah. Fast news fast. News fasting. fasting from news. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, we know it's, I mean, I'll see it at least once a day. That's enough. Once a day. That's enough. Okay. 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 And even in WhatsApp groups, it, it's better to tell the other members of the group, please don't share yeah. anything on uh, this. You know, once you put your Sun TV or any other TV, BBC or CNN, yeah. just one minute is enough for you to know what the current situation is actually. Oh, okay. You okay. don't have to keep updating yourself every one hour as to what's happening, right? Or correct, 10 correct. times a day. Correct, correct. So correct, correct. cut down that to a minimum so that that's enough. Once a day is enough. So that is one thing. And secondly, like you said, is there any powerful technique to control this? Yeah. I can only tell this to you. Uh, yeah. When I learned magic, when I mm. learned my first magic, mm. uh, I saw my uh, mentor mm. just vanish a coin and just into thin air, just mm. disappear. Mm. He showed both his hands empty. Mm. And it was like, I'm seeing pure magic happening right before me. 
you know mm, 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 so mm, powerful mm. it was just right on your face like mm, uh, mm. it just hits you and it takes mm. a while for you to actually get, get to it, know what uh, happened mm, mm. and uh, uh, the first class when i had with him uh, he just stood across we had a cup of tea actually and mm. uh, uh, in our uh, jimni parsons complex i still remember mm. uh, 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 uh. Um, one of the directors uh, office was also there and uh. Uh, there was a tea shop next to that mm. um, and when we were having the tea i mean he was having his like samosa actually <laughs> he took mm. his samosa and i was telling i was telling mm. uh, what are the, what is the golden rule for like to perform something like you uh. he said there is no one golden rule he said there okay. are three golden rules three golden okay. rules i said okay. three fantastic uh, then uh, i am very lucky tell me all the three i am ready to absorb all that into myself uh, so he said the first golden rule <laughs> is practice have, okay yeah, okay, is practice. okay okay and the second golden rule mm. is practice mm. and the third golden rule mm. is practice <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and there is nothing more you have to do other than this to do what i did to you yesterday okay, and vanish okay. a coin like that like real okay. magic okay so practicing i think the simple techniques that we have done and shared is mm. enough if they do consistently every single day mm. can help them to actually uh, do to a certain extent because this mm. is not an intensive workshop right mm. this is just mm. a talk mm. online we are having right now correct correct But correct these correct. simple techniques itself are very powerful if they do it consistently that will like i was telling visualizing the ideal day and other things Mm. and uh, work out like something that we discuss and those things are good but uh, learning eft and other things uh, they have to learn some simple techniques mm, and that mm. if they practice on a daily basis they okay. become so powerful that okay. uh, whether the situation is light or heavy or very emergency oriented mm. really doesn't matter the same mm-hmm. technique will help them to overcome okay 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 thank you I so much I'm, I you hope know, I'm getting. Uh, you have practical uh, here. Yeah, yeah, you're practical, and uh, you have. It, I mean, it's bullseye. I mean, like you have given the exact answer. What is actually required for me and for the viewers? Thank you so much, and uh, we covered a huge spectrum of uh, topics which we had in mind, and a little bit we went yeah. overboard as well based on the questions which came from the viewers. Thank yeah. you so much, and uh, I will share fact, your details. I have to. I have to. I have to thank you, Hari, for uh, having me. Thank you <laughs> so much. you're doing so much of good work for the society i pray to god pray to the universe that uh, thank you. Thank every you. day you're able to go ahead much much more with the blessings of the universe and uh, all you. the great souls thank you uh, thank you thank i you. wish you all the best on your thank journey you. and all thank the you. people who are watching i wish them all the very best in their lives wish them uh, good health joy abundance and above all to be safe during this time thank, thank you thank you thank you thank you so much sir thank you dear viewers we had a really really mind boggling session with mr vadivel pillai he had covered uh, starting from his life journey and then all the questions which came from the viewers and also we tried to cover as much as possible within the time and we went little bit overboard since the questions were coming in he was also i was messaging him asking is it okay to proceed little bit further and he was cut uh, is enough and he was kind enough he said okay go ahead as long as the questions comes is we are fine and uh, most of the questions which we got from the facebook and uh, through my phone message we have covered if there's any more questions you would like to ask him or you would like to get his advice i'll share his number please inbox me your queries i'll in, uh, definitely share his email id and phone number one second thing is there's a 90 minute program which is being planned it's an introductory session to understand on reprogramming your mind and to get a discounted amount please do whatsapp 8939037925 what you're seeing in the ticker 8939037925 this is going to be an intensive 90 minute introductory session which will give you the basics to get going and people who want to take it from there ha- have options of get enrolling in the other courses we also have uh, another course which is uh, dream mind which is focusing on understanding the life's calling because most of us we work we work and we keep working and uh, at times we may not enjoy what we are doing but we do because of the certain commitments we 
it your business or be it your job we devote most of our day most of our time and we are not happy about it at the end of the day so this is for people who really want to understand what should they do from now on so if you really have you know understand this lockdown is a period where you can introspect understand and take clear guided steps towards what you want in your life understanding where your passion lies and helping that okay helping you to take that and make it into your profession okay if you're keen in that then the second course which i'm talking about falls under that category okay so if you have any questions please do contact 8939037925 thank you very much for all the love which is being poured on a daily basis and that gives me more and more energy to bring more important more uh, experts from all around the world a lot of people who are coming in this session are people who have impacted my life directly indirectly and these people have done so much to many people so i really want people who are viewing or who are on my fnb li fb list facebook list to also get the taste of it and take it further if you would like to have more sessions with them thank you very much thank you